just in time. We've reached the population size of Little Hamlet. 460 population as a random number. Yes, Leon, it's a new game. And now we get some things. We get some bonuses as we've reached that limit. I'm just going to sneeze one second. There we go. So we're going to get some bonuses here. We can now adjust the taxes. We can get some loans. We've got rubbish, healthcare, and education we need to add. Schools, medical clinics, landfill sites. So because these are now available, people are going to want these straight away. <laughs> so the fact that we're a bit low on money, and these are some achievements. I've got some of these already because uh, I've been playing a bit. Oh, water. Yes. Let's add... Let's extend our water pipes. Not too far because we're we're short on money. How's electricity doing? Yeah, they're okay on electricity. Good. So rubbish is going to be the next thing that they're going to moan about. Four thousand. We've got the money. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a little lane coming down here. There we go. And we're going to add it down the lane. Out the way from everybody. There we go. As they always are. Tucked out the way. And we'll get some garbage trucks. Or rubbish trucks. As we call them everywhere apart from America. <laughs> 10th of March this is out. And I've got the game paused. Didn't realise that. Taking out the trash has become more convenient. Thank you Travis. There he is. Where's he going? Oh, he's heading out of the city. No, he's not. He's coming back in the city. That's weird. That flipped me right out to a road over there. Because you can't actually go out. But because I picked him and he was outside the city, it took me to him. Hmm, strange. Never done that before. They're still complaining about lack of workers. Well, we've got more houses here, haven't we? Maybe we could try and smarten this area up a bit. Get people... Oh, I haven't got that option yet. What do we need to add parks? 1,500. Yes, this is the Sims game I was waiting for. The Sim City game. Really been enjoying it a lot. Oh, somebody was asking about this. We're going to options. Colour correction. We can change our city to sunny. There we go. Sort of changes the colour a bit. Let me know what you think. Let's just have a look around with sunny for a few moments. So it sort of puts a hue over it, but when you zoom in, things look things look a lot sunnier. That's the sunny view. Also, you have north. So this is sort of like a European, British sort of hue on things. A bit darker. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, we've got the all the things stacked up. And then also you've got tropical. There we go. That really makes it look garish, doesn't it? Levitating cats, the new trending topic on the internet. <laughs> Thank you for that. Don't like tropical. What do you reckon? The wet weekend in Brighton look. Well, that would be... That would be the north look, I'd imagine. I quite like the sunny one. I tell you what, I'm going to go with that. Let's go with sunny. Or normal. <laughs> Maybe back to none. Yeah, let's stick with none for now. Let's stick with none. So we want to get more people moving in here. And upgrading their houses as well. But we've got to get a population of 1,500 before we can do that. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're adding some health care. We've got the Soviet clinic, which is an asset somebody's made. You can't really see what the building looks like because the picture here isn't quite complete. But if you just sort of look at it on my cursor, it's like a big, square, Soviet-looking building. And it's a bit boring, that one. We'll go for the clinic. <laughs> a medical clinic. And if we put this around here somewhere, people are going to be really happy with that. I'm going to put that on the end here. I think. 
Yeah, let's add it. Let's add it here. There we go. Look at that. Healthcare for everybody. Everybody's happy. And we have an option for a school as well. And I'm thinking at the end here. Not enough money. Darn it. We need 10,000 for a school. Okay, well, let's just wait for the money to come in. What we could do is adjust our budget. If we check. Electricity. We have so much available. We are wasting money. Let's drop the budget on that to 70. Let's just see if that goes down and we've still got some. I'll leave a bit extra because we're getting people coming in. Good. We'll do the same for water. Water is available so high. Let's drop that down to 70 as well. See what that affects. Plenty of water. I'm going to even drop that down a bit lower. But we need to keep an eye on that. 60. Let's do 60 on this one. 65. No. We're going to go back to 70. Don't want anybody running out of electricity just when they're expanding. Now, water's gone a bit low now. Okay, 70 it is for both. And I like the way you can do that, sort of juggle things up and down. Um, taxes you can change for different areas as well. We can drop our taxes for all the different zones, which is good. You want to get more people in. I'm going to drop that down to 6%. And we've got loans we can take out as well. Not going to do that. And we want a plus... 756. So we're not doing too bad. The game isn't out till the 10th of March, Valden. Hello, Beldenick. So you can't download it yet. I've been fortunate enough that Colossal Lord and Paradox have given me a sneaky peek ahead of time. Let's have a look at our noise pollution. So that's interesting. Commercial areas produce noise. That's not too bad. And obviously the main roads will... This, definitely, all of this produces a lot of noise. So that's well out of the way. Average noise. That's that's not too bad, is it? But obviously the main roads do. These houses here are probably going to struggle a bit. we we'll probably add some sort of parks in the back here when we get the option. Um, I would like to add a school in. Everyone will be stupid until we have money for school. Yes, they will. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. We don't have any industry or commerce yet that particularly wants people that are, that are not thick. So, what I'm going to try and do is avoid having crossroads, four crossroads. Just keep them as T-junctions. So, what I might do is curve this road around... And sort of match this up coming the other way, if that makes sense. Let's see if we can do that. Although I'm going to be spending some of my money, but... So if I go... Oh, we want to go wide enough for this as well, don't we? Oh, here's some planning. How are we going to work this out? So, let's go back to this road. So with that, we went out one and a half. So one and a half would be there. And then the road as well. Actually, let's just put that in. Shouldn't have actually put that there. I was going to line it up with that one. Darn it. Let's delete that. Let's do that again. Nope. Nope. Want to get it as close as we can. There we go. God, there's no road for it to snap to. It's not quite... Actually, that'll be okay. So one and a half is there. Well, that'll give me the measurement anyway, even if that's not exactly the right place. And then this will come down... Yeah, see, that's not going to snap straight like that. If we do it this way... Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. I'm going to have to actually attach it to this to get it to go straight. Sorry, people that live here. We need to delete that. Yeah, that might have to be the gap we do. We'll just do a gap like that. And then one and a half. Nope. That looks about right, doesn't it? Something like that. 
Maybe, maybe. Okay, well, let's curve this road around. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll add another... Oh, I'll tell you what, we didn't want to get it exactly right. It's a shame we don't have any sort of... I said you could use gravel rows, couldn't you? Do it like that. Nope, just... Uh, that's what I want. Straight. Why is that doing that? I just want to go straight. Thank you. That was really freaky deaky. And then we'll line that up like that. There's the one and a half mark. Okay, let's delete that. Now we can get it. Perfect. One and a half. Yes. There we go. One and a half. And then we want one there. And one there. That seemed to be a little bit too long, that one. Oh, I'm wasting all the money here, deleting things. But I want it to look right. There we go. One there. New services. Oh, we can do the school. Good. Let's just put that road out. Don't worry, that dirt road isn't going to stay. Then we can delete. Delete the dirt road. There we go. New services. Oh yeah, we can't afford it though, can we? There's no point telling us about that. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying the game so far. I would recommend it, but obviously it's up to you if it's something you would like to play. So if we get this... Oh, why is it going to say that? Does that mean I need to go out a bit further? Ah, oh, there we go. That is weird. So it's connecting to those, but I can't go any further up there. That is weird. Look, that's not actually connected. The road's up. Well, this is proving to be quite difficult. Not enough money. Oh, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is proving to be quite difficult to get these roads to match up. And then that's not going to connect there, look. Oh, man. That is very weird. Thanks for coming, Drake. Thanks for watching. First bug. Yeah, possibly. I mean, it's got another week to go before it totally gets finished and in the meantime these places are probably still saying not enough workers oh no they're okay we've probably got a little bit of a balance at the moment hmm so if I delete that whoa okay let's not do that one because that's like a half a road isn't it ah there we go wow it's like a real sort of weird thing to get get things to meet up. Not enough money. I'm going to take a loan out. Let's have a look. Yep, 20,000. Thank you. We need it. Let's see how we go with the loan. All this road making, that's what it is. There we go. And the last one. And then we'll just slightly extend this bit here. Yep, new buildings. go. Oh, at last. At last. I know I've got no money. Oh yeah, let's put a school in before. Um, where should we put our school? We could have... I'm going to put it in the middle here. Yep. Then we're going to have some commercial... Here and here. Oh, commercial. Then we're going to have a load of houses. Here, 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 and here. <laughs> there we go. And we'll go for that at the moment. Let's see. Yep, people. Oh, water, electricity. Mustn't forget that. There we go. Let's add our water pipe in. About here. Oh, don't make sure we don't miss anything. I have one little square missing. I'm not quite sure how that would affect. There we go. So they were saying they had no power. The nearest power cable is up here. It's being transmitted through there. Look, you can see. So these are actually picking up power. 
So that's good. People are moving in straight away. I get mildly peeved. Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, dear. Worthy village, a population of 950. So it moves quite quick. I mean, I've sort of... I know I've messed around with the roads a bit, but... I've not done a huge amount, and it's unlocked a lot of the buildings already. So now we've got fire department, police department. We can have forestry, agriculture, so we'll look at those. So lots of things to add, and as soon as these, un these buildings unlock, they will want them. They, they know that they're available. Um, so, you know, you want to sort of put those things down straight away. Let's check our garbage, if it's still... Yeah, 5 out of 15 trucks used, so we're okay. Something you can do, which is interesting, in-game... What are these cars doing down here? Works at the ice cube factory. Why are they coming all the way down here? Oh, it's this sort of road. Look, they have to turn around. There's no, like, turning points in the middle. Oh, that's a pain, isn't it? If you come out, if you work on this side of the road, you've got to go all the way down there. Let's see if we can fix that. We've got roundabouts. Small roundabout. <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> That's gigantic. Can I like, hook that onto that road? I can't. Oh, forget that. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, it looks like we've placed one there. <laughs> we'll leave that there in case we use it in the future. I was going to just see if I could add... Oh, is they broke? What's happened here? Oh, he's parked. Okay. See if we can add some sort of little road for them to turn in. Or something. Your son's off to daycare. Yeah, mine's just gone to bed, so... <laughs> Makes it a bit easier. Could we do... I mean, if we put in... Let's see. I've not done this before. If we just add in a road like that, will they go up here and turn around instead? And I bet the traffic here is stupid, isn't it? Oh, no. It's not too bad. There we go. Look, they now go up there and turn around instead. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, we've got a tractor. What's he doing? Importing goods. Alright, at least they don't have to travel so far. I'm just waiting to see if that's going to affect... Here we go, look. Somebody coming up here. Who's going to get the right of way? They're just going to merge. Alright, well I've just saved them hours on their commute home, so I hope they're pleased with that. No electricity. Really? Oh, is our budget... Yeah, we need to up electricity on our budget. Let's just go straight up to 80. How's our water doing? Yeah, we'll do the same for water as well. This is penny pinching, but it's... Hopefully going to set money. Oh, we're going to set some districts in the minute as well. But first, we're going to put in... We have healthcare. Fire department. A firehouse. I'm going to put this here as well. There we go. So it's sort of central to everything. And then we had a police department. Although, although I'd have this as quite a big road, don't I? I Probably a bit silly doing those two there, because if ever I want to upgrade this road, I don't think it'd let me with those there. If it was just normal houses and commerce and stuff, it would just sort of delete them and have to be re rebuilt again. But with buildings that you place yourself... So what I'm going to do is I am going to move that to there. And I'm going to do the same for this one. Is that the relocate button? Yeah. I'm going to move it over a bit like that. And they're all happy again. So we're still leaving a bit of space down the side. I think that would be better. Make the turnaround road as small as possible. Yeah, I was trying to do that. Oh! Oh, he's stuck on the mud. I meant to do that, actually, and... There we go. Whoa, he's spinning it round up there. He's like, I'm not using that road. That's better, isn't it? Good, good. So we need a bit more industry. So let's expand this down here. We'll use the fill-in tool. Let's just add a few more. Get some buildings going. And what else did we have? So we've had the school, the police, the fire... The healthcare, the rubbish. Water's doing okay. Electricity. They need to be upped, don't they? Let's get those up to 90. Soon we're going to have to add to the infrastructure. So, 
while we're letting the game run, let's do our district. So, something new for this. Yeah, I'm quite glad I remembered about moving the services, Whisper Proud, because in my playthrough that you're going to see... Oh, there's somebody on fire. Let's have a look at that while we're waiting. Good job, I put... See, look... I don't think things catch fire until you get the option of building a fire engine. Now what's going to happen is they're going to come down there. They're going to have to come all the way down here, turn around and come back, aren't they? So this road is a bit... Hmm... Not the best for having shops hanging off the side. Are they actually come in. Firehouse. Fire engine in use 4 or 6. Here they come. Oh no, he's going out of town. And he's going out of town. Oh, there must be other fires over here somewhere, is there? Look. Yep, there is. Where are they going to? Here, look. Oh my goodness. The building is on fire. And they won't ever swing around either, so they're going all the way up to the end to go down. It's, it is odd the way the traffic works. And they're now waiting because the lights are red. What? Oh, they're going to run from the other side of the road. Look. <laughs> what? That is nuts. That is completely nuts. Look at that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> look, look at that. That's ridiculous. Can I place a one-way road in the middle of that double road? I was just, oh, they put the house out. There we go. Oh, that's good. Oh my goodness. No, fire doesn't spread between buildings. I think that would be pretty bad if it did. That was the longest fire hose I've ever seen. How's this one over here doing? Ice Cube Factory. It's looking pretty black, look. But it's okay. It's not burnt down totally. Yeah, I was wondering, can I adjust that road somehow? I don't think a, a one-way isn't going to help because it's going to... It will just, yeah, if I end up deleting that and putting a one way in, that's going to confuse everybody coming the other way. And there's nothing really I can sort of add in there, is there? I could put maybe a little bit of this normal piece in. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's take a. Let's take a section out. Let's make it curved. I don't know whether that all. See, I don't think they'll swing it round there because then I suppose the other thing to do is to add a little bit in like that that they can turn in I suppose that's I don't know that's the way to way to do it or not it's a bit weird isn't it have to work on that let's fill these in yeah, you see, they will. Yeah, he's turning now, and now he's changed his mind. Hmm. Worth keeping in mind. Sort of the way the roads work. Getting a little bit of traffic here, but not too bad. Oh, there we go. We've gone up again. We can now have high schools. You can imagine if they didn't get to one house. An ice cube factory burned down, yeah. If they didn't get to one house, then it spread it everywhere. Safety management college would be good. We're going to get high schools. And we we're going to look at districts, weren't we? Oh, we've got some unique buildings we've earned as well. We get so much stuff we can use. See, I've went from thinking, like with SimCity, you get options to build anything you want at the beginning, as long as you have the money. With this, they feed it to you over time. But actually, I think they feed it to you a bit quick, because I'm sort of thinking I'm used to not having everything. And then before you know it, you've been given more and more stuff. So I've Full? Oh, I see. I've earned these, actually, in other games I've played. So, I've, these I've had anyway. But, yeah, the milestone stuff is giving me things pretty quick. So, I want to set up some districts. Let me show you how they work. You have policies for your, for your city. Let's have a look. We go to our city here. Population, one and a half thousand. We can have city-wide policies. Different things. So, like this one here, conserve energy... Put some power meters in the houses. Costs a bit, but conserves energy. Same for the water. Smoke detector distribution. Again, costs some money per building. So it soon adds up. Uh, pet ban, smoking ban. Parks and recreation. We can boost those. Oh, we can put some parks in. That's what I was going to do as well. 
but also you can have districts. So if we close this down and make ourselves a new district, which is this button here, we are going to have our industry district there, which has been given the name Lynch Heights. Then we're going to... Oh, there's a burglar going on, I think. Then we're going to have our... Oh, they've joined up. Oh, it's named it different. That's good. Underhill Park. Well, we're going to change the names of those for sure. But, of course, you can set districts just for forestry, just for farming. Back to generic. We'll get some other ones open up a bit later. So, if we had farming area... Let's have a look. One of these, I think, is going to tell us... Garbage education. I can't remember which one it is. Health. Land value. Outside connections. Natural resources. There we go. <clears throat> Fertile land, so we could have some farming down here. You'd put your roads in, then you'd make it a district for farming, and all the buildings in there would be farm buildings. So there you go, that's how that works. But now, within each district, we can have policies just for this district. So I could tell these guys here, let's just see how that would affect things. So what's our power on? Power's getting into the yellow, so now's maybe a good time to try this. Underhill Park Policies, we're going to say, you're all going to have electricity meters. We're making 856. So let's see how much of a difference that will make. So we're going to spend some money, but we're going to gain some electricity. There we go. So not too bad, down to 700. We'll see how that goes, anyway. And then we could have one over here to do with smoking or something like that. What could we have for our industry area? Smoking ban, pet ban, no pets at work. Generic bee district with a bee dubbed building zone. Yeah, you could have that. <laughs> yes, Baz, I was thinking that. Maybe it is the type of road not to build against. You'd need some side roads with turning. Mm, I don't think I'm going to add any policies over here. I think we're going to leave... What that should do when you click this... Oh, it says district policies, so... Ah, when you close the district, it changes it to city policies. I see. What are these guys moaning about? Crime rate is high. See, I don't think i put a police station in, have I? No, I haven't. So immediately, now I have the option for police. Everyone's saying... Everyone's going to start robbing people. We're going to put it over here, I think, opposite this one. Yeah, we'll do that. And then what I'm going to do as well is add in... Little turning roads there. Just wondering whether... Let's do a similar thing along here. I'm going to do one there, and one there. So if people want to turn, they can. That'll be good. New services. Oh, what's this? Oh, medieval church. Can't afford that. I think we can put some parks in. We can. And I wanted to try and get people more happy over here, didn't I? Get the land value up a bit. It's not too bad at the moment. We can try and increase that. Enforce martial law. Was that one of the options, was it? <laughs> Free public transport, recreational use, education boost, recycling. We don't have martial law, unfortunately. That would be interesting. Oh, it was the noise level, wasn't it? It was the, the thing here. And I was going to see about adding a little park in. Now, you can add footpaths in as well. Do we have those as an option yet? We don't. We've just got two-lane gravel roads. I was going to see if I can add a park in somewhere here. If I do that, that's going to destroy those, isn't it? How about if we join those up? Let's join those up. Let's add that there. And then I'm going to put a park. Oh, lots of parks. Oh, look, there's the path. Pavement path. We'll leave that gravel road for now. We'll see what happens. What can we add? So we've got little small parks. 
great big parks. That's a massive one. Teeny tiny paths, parks. Okay, what should we add? 160 a week costs. Oh, it's a playground. Yeah, let's have a kids' playground here, and it's by the shopping area as well. Oh, they're loving that. Nice. Does that affect the noise pollution? That's a question. Doesn't make it any worse. That's good. But the kids can play there. And what we could do as well, let's add... Can I just put a path around here? Will that not join to the road? Oh, look, it sort of connects to the path of the... Oh, that's interesting. So could I run a path up here? Oh, it does look, and it connects to the uh, connects to the road. Buy new land. Oh, we can get a new slot. Let's join that up to there. Look, so we can actually make the paths for people to walk off the side into the park. I like that. That's nice. Let's do the same over here then. Oh, start it there. There we go. People can get in and out of our park area. And then we could even add some trees in. Yes, it's like a Twitter thing. It pops up and people give you messages about what's going on in the city. Oliver Campbell loves the new park. And he's actually in the park, I think, at the moment, is he? Possibly. Oh, wrong button. Oh, let's save the game quickly. There we go. Yeah, I think he's already in the park. I was playing my own game the other day, and um, one you'll see on YouTube. Something really funny happened, I'll tell you, you'll see it. But I actually had, when you get to the point of unlocking cemeteries, I actually had a death, and I checked where it was, and it was in the park. <laughs> but people were still playing in the park. Let's add some of those on. Obviously, around the dead body, that was a bit weird. Let's beautify this a bit, let's add some trees in. What sort of trees have we got? Some big trees. Oh, that is a very big tree, isn't it? Look. Let's put that alongside the path. Let's have one over here as well. Wow, that is really big. Yeah, quite small ones. What else have we got? That is noisy, isn't it? What is that? Is that a police car or something? Possibly. Some tiny ones. I've just got a couple of small ones next to it as well. There we go. Very nice. Underhill Park. It's a nice name of the area. Well, it told us we could buy new areas. So let's... Look at that. We can now unlock another square to build into. Can you put a parking lot for the park area? That's a good question. There's a parking lot something I've got the option for. We've got highway ramps and highway with sound barriers. Look through all of these. These are all just junctions. Yeah, these are all just different junctions. They're just different sorts of roads. But I think people will park on the gravel road anyway, so... I don't think there's a specific parking lot that you can add. I just wonder whether to try and add a path down here. Could I join my path? Let's have a look. Space already occupied. Can I sort of do it like that? Could that sort of connect to that? I'm not sure whether that counts as a connection or not, possibly. But it's there now anyway. We're actually making our own park, aren't we? Let's just do it to the corner. We can add some trees and things around there. Oh, nice. Right. So. Oh, a building has burned down. Where's that? Oh no! Well, we're going to delete that then. There we go. Yes. Right, let's have a look. How much is it going to cost to buy one of these? 5,300. We don't actually have enough money. 
3,700, 4,500, 3,800. Not sure I actually want to buy another new tile yet. So this is where I think they unlock stuff a bit too quick, which some people might quite like. They might want to then go off and start a farming industry somewhere else, which you could do. You join up the roads here and have a farming industry over here or something. You could do that. But with the size that I am at the moment and how much money I've got coming in, Yes. So what's that? Still waiting on the budget management review. Hello Jarx. Hello DMAC. How are you doing? Oh, my money is in minus 522. Goodness me. My money. Wow. Why has that gone down? Do you know what is going to not help with that? Is this. <laughs> let's turn that off. Um, and let's put this back to 100 and I think I'm going to have to do it for this one as well let's see if that makes a difference gets me back in the plus again I've spent too much money minus 160 a week wow too much fun with parks yeah but I've spent all my money hmm What can I do to get some more money in? Or what can I close down? I mean, I could shut some things down, but I don't really want to do that. 480 a week. It's getting there. 100, mine's 133. It's getting better. It's getting better. We'll just we'll just hang on. So I'm not going to buy another area just yet, because I don't think that would be a good idea. And I'm going to already... You see, now with this coal power plant, I'm already getting to the point of going to be running out of electricity. So... Look at this, the way the grass has been affected. Because it's all pollution. Let's go to the pollution tab. Which is this one. So we can see the pollution here. And it's eaten away at the grass. Which I think is great. I like that. Now those little dinks you can hear in the background are people upgrading their houses. Look, they've just upgraded theirs. They've, they've just upgraded theirs. So people are quite happy in this area, which is nice. Yeah, look at the happiness. That park made all the difference. So sort of having things spread out like that is quite good. I think what we're going to do is add some more residential. Let's just quickly check the traffic before I do... Yeah, because ideally I'd normally keep things away from the main through roads, but... Meh. Let's just go with it. Let's just get some residential going in here. I don't want it lined up to there. That's going to be commercial. And that's going to be residential. Get some people moving in. And we need some more industry. Why don't we sort of connect something up to this roundabout here? Have a few industry spurs coming off of there. How much money have we got? Oh, we're making money again. That's good. Raise the taxes. Of course, I put the taxes down, didn't I? Could call. Let's put that back up to nine. There we go. We'll leave the other ones as they are. Um, actually, let's 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 muck around with the taxes a bit. If I put them up to fifteen, how much is that going to slow things down? Put that up to fifteen. Put that up to fifteen. Let's just see how that affects things. And do I ever have to pay my loan back? Oh, it automatically pays back. Ah, see, I'm losing money with that as well. Look, payments left. I can't pay it off sooner either to save the money. Oh, more house upgrades going on. That's good. See you in the morning for the Minecraft hype party. Yes. Don't miss that tonight. Nine o'clock, my time. What's, what's the time now? Three o'clock. Six hours from now. Upgrading their own houses. I wake up one morning, they're so happy. Oh, look. That, oh, dear. That turning space. Well, that's going to connect to a roundabout, isn't it? Oh, another building's burnt down. No! Is that our firehouse? Yeah, I don't know why they're struggling to get to places, but... Okay, let's... That is actually a small road, isn't it? 
make. So let's just do... Let's make it... Let's do this road here. Freeform road. Let's have a bit of fun. Let's go that way. And then that way. So now we have a proper roundabout there. Oh boy, electricity's suddenly run out. Electricity's gone altogether. Look. Oh no, it's the coal place that's on fire. <gasps> oh my goodness. What? No. Where's the fire engines? Here they come, here they come. Oh boy, let's follow one of these. Go into the coal power plant. That's a disaster. Look at the traffic to get out. Oh, being blocked in. Oh, please don't get destroyed. Good grief. The purple heather, yeah, look. <laughs> They're turning the place into Scotland. Come on, don't slow down. Keep going. Get have right of way. Oh, this place is gonna burn down before they get there, I tell you. Oh dear, get out of the way. Of course that affects water and everything, doesn't it? Yeah, they're gonna have to do a little switcheroo turn around thing. Wouldn't use their noodle and just stop on the side of the road. Oh man. Come on guys, put the place out. There should be a little bar or something that shows you how I suppose you're getting the visual indicator of how burnt it is. <laughs> I think they're going to save it. They're going to save it. Oh dear. How low can I go? That's as close as I can get. There's a free form camera, a free roam camera there. Look, there we go. Which makes it all go a bit wonky. I prefer this view. Come on, put it out. Yeah, they've got good connections to the area. They're right outside. They've done it. Power should be back, but it's looking a bit crispy. So let's have a look. Electricity's back, water's back, because of course water stops as well because of the <laughs> power going. <gasps> Deary me. Yep, it's all back. It'll all kick in soon. So what are these guys saying? Taxes are too high. Ah, so that's what's going to happen. Are these saying? Everybody's saying taxes are too high. Okay, I don't want people moving out. Let's drop it to 12. See what we can get away with. We're still gaining people though, but I'm going to drop it a bit. Let's get some more industry down here. We need a bit more. I'm going to stick some along the road here, I think. Shall we? Or shall we have him... No, let's have him come off this road. Um, what other roads have we got here? We've got some roads... Yeah, I know about the new buildings. That would be better for turning. Not really. This basic one here at the moment. So let's take... Let's do a curved road here. We'll probably start a bit further up. Let's do that. There we go. Let's do another one. Excellent. Oh, I love the way it sort of matches up. That's good. And then get some more industry in there. Let's just mark this with the tool that covers everything. There we go. And that one there. I don't think I missed anything. There we go. Yeah, it does look like Heather, doesn't it? I don't think we can actually see the flowers. Can you? You can see, look. You do get a good view. I mean, these the graphics on this, I think, are pretty good. I think they're pretty good. Traffic is building up. This one way in and out of the industry zone isn't very good. Now, what I could do if I had the money and the space is I can add other roads to this here. Although I can't build outside the area, so actually, no, I can't there. If I had this square, this road here, this three road would be in the square and I could build on it. But actually, I'm a bit sort of scuppered here, aren't I? Can't really do that. Yes, the tilt shift. You can adjust that. You can change it. Yeah, and every time you had a road coming on and off as well, you have the you have this traffic. Look, it's like it's like there's no right of way. It's just we'll go. No, nope, you go. Let me just read through some of your comments. Emergency services should have higher priority. Yes, I think so too. 
A dedicated fire station in an industrial area. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. Hello, Mick Daddy. Thanks for coming. More, more mild road annoyance. A roundabout at the industry intersection. Just here, a roundabout would be good. I don't think I can actually fit one in there at the moment. I mean, I could sort of delete a chunk here and stick a roundabout in. I could stop them coming in here and join this up. Do you know what? I think that would be a good idea. But then they get a lot of traffic here. Well, let's, let's try it. Why not? Let's have a bit of... We're experimenting. We're having fun. Let's see. Three lanes either way. That's this one, isn't it? Let's... Oh, no. I've got the wiggly... Wiggly, wiggly. Let's do that. See, the thing is with these roundabouts, they're the small road roundabouts. What's the large roundabout look like? If that's a small one. So it's going to be these sorts of roads, isn't it? Okay, so there's two ways of getting in and out now. Be interesting to see what they prioritise. We're getting low on water. Water's at 100%. We could stick another water tower in. We've got the one here, haven't we? Let's stick another one in. Oh, that's by pollution. Don't want to do that. I don't think it gives you extra water if you put it anywhere particular. There's no sort of water map or anything like that, like you had on SimCity, so to be honest, anywhere will do. Let's just add it there. And that should get power from this one. Okay. You're going to get power from your neighbour? I think you should. Yeah, all the patrons are coming on. Hello, Tanashki, how you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, I could add wind turbines in case things go down again, but at the minute... Oh, look, someone added it on the fire. We're going to add... Shall we have the Stansted fire station over here? It costs the same. Different style building. Let's see what this will cover. Let's squeeze that in. Space already occupied. What? What are you talking about? There's nothing there. Why is it saying space already occupied? So it lets me have the little one, but won't let me have the big one. That's strange. Space already occupied. Or let me go there. Right by the roundabout. Why not? There we go. So this has been designed by somebody, I think, at works at uh, Colossal Order. So it's a slightly different one. And he's got no power and water. Okay. Oh, some of these haven't got water, have they? Let's... Oh, look at that water. It's disgusting. Let's run this along here. And power... Now, you see, he's not going to get power, I don't think. Because he's not close enough to these. Until people start filling up this area. If I... No, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Instead of building other power lines in, I'm just going to do that. There we go. And as buildings start popping up here, they will start filling in. Okay, we need more people. Oh, grief, we're out on power. Electricity's down. Right. What should we have? Should we have some wind turbines this time? Which we, we can't afford. <laughs> we have no money. We're making money. Let's wait and we'll add a wind turbine in. So you'll have to make do with your... Can I up this? Let's add 110%. See if that makes a difference. Doesn't affect my budget too much. Another blackout. Sorry, Piper Crowley. Oh, got an emergency going on. Did that make a difference? Not much. Tiny bit. Residential demand is high, yeah. But power is a problem. We need to balance that first. How are people liking this park? Visitors last week, 147. Excellent. Population is over 2,000. Getting bigger. Lots of children. They're upgrading slightly. Industry isn't upgrading yet. 
I don't know why. A little bit more money and we can get a turbine in. Where could we put a turbine? Placing wind turbines. So that's three. Is it changing? Yeah, if you look at the estimated production. So five, six, six over here. What are we going to get up here? Six, six, six. They produce noise as well. So six is the most. So we get six down here. So we could just put it right by these power cables. There we go. We've got the money. Let's get it in as close as we can down here. Oh, it's gone down to five, six. There we go. I don't think we have to hook it on like we did with the water. No. There we go. Operating normally. Excellent. And that's noisy as well. So you don't want those near your city. There we go. Look. Lots of noise. Do you want to be careful of that? Let's have a look. Electricity is going up. Not by a huge amount. Hmm. So they don't give you much power. These are good. These advanced wind turbines. You need more population though for those. Very noisy. But you stick those out at sea. Oh, they're the same noise. But they go out at sea. 200 a week. 80 a week. Yes, yeah, so it's better to build a few of these. I'm going to build another one when I get a chance. Oh, we saw the little arrows going up. People are upgrading. What a great city! Oh, where's Emma? She's like over here somewhere. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. She's this bush. This bush called Emma Greenway is so happy. <laughs> the sound of the sirens change. Yeah, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? See you, Iris. Thanks for coming. Well, I don't know why it's telling me she's over there. So they're not really using this roundabout yet, are they? There we go. Look, he's got power now. Oh, he's on fire. So where are the fire engines from this guy? Three out of six in use. That's an ice cube factory. Oh, they've put it out. We must have missed it. They've fixed it. Good. What's this guy saying? Not enough educated workers. Ah, oh, he's upgraded. Well, he wants to upgrade, but there's not enough educated workers. How's our school doing? Where did we put that? Elementary school. So we've got plenty of students. Didn't we get a different type of school? We got a high school, didn't we? But we need the money for that. We don't have enough money. Hello, Hesmayu. Dodo Bird, how you doing? Dodo -do -do Bird. <laughs> The turbine is a backup, yeah, although it's not the best backup ever. That one on its own isn't going to do much. It really isn't. I feel like we need to take another loan because I want to put another turbine up. I want to put a high school up. What's this one? And it got university as well. 24,000 for the high school we need. Which is a lot. Which is a lot. Let me just leave this here like this for a minute. I'm just going to go and grab some more water. So don't go anywhere. I shall be right back.
Hello. Back again. Oh, wheat farms. Let's have a look through the chat. Almost got your name right. He's me, you. Ah, oh, yes. Well done. <laughs> Maybe she's hiding in a bush. I think she was. She was doing undercover work. I think that's what it was. Yep, it's a good game. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. Oh, grief. What are these people saying here? Not enough workers. We still need more residential. Okay. And what are the resident? Oh, these are upgrading as well. Look. So we're getting upgrades. That's good. I don't think this is going to upgrade to the next level until we have our next level of education. So do you know what? I'm going to take a loan out. I'm going to take the next loan. There we go. Oh, we can pay them off early. Oh, interesting. I'm going to put this next school up. The high school. So we already have that school there. I should have a quick look at the area again. Whoops. What have we got? Look, commercial. I wonder whether to put the other school. Where should we put the other school? I'm thinking of traffic and stuff as well. Because what is this building here? Oh, it's the police station. So we can't get rid of that anyway. Um, we could add it over this side, although that's a nicely upgraded, busy corner shop. Look at the size of that corner shop. This one here. <laughs> it's the world's biggest corner shop. Oh dear. Let's just add the school at the end here, I think. There we go. Everyone's going to be happy. There's the high school. 